Welcome. This video explains in part how Sketchlist 3D achieves high ratings for ease of use and speed of woodworking design. Building blocks in woodworking. The building block design approach breaks down complex projects into smaller, manageable parts like assembling a structure from individual blocks. Each block is a separate part of the design, allowing for more flexibility and making changes more manageable. The blocks are saved in the library for reuse in other designs. This modular approach means that changes to one block don't affect the entire project, which makes it easier to manage and improve. Parametric design in woodworking. Designers do not draw lines or boxes with the parametric approach. They type in sizes and locations. Parametric software controls the design details by applying rules and software calculations to create and modify the design. This lets designers quickly test different design choices or adjust as needed. By tweaking parameters, woodworkers can make designs that address specific needs. There is no reason to redo designs from scratch when that work is already done. Just look in the library, select an existing piece, and modify it if necessary. If modifying an existing library member isn't enough, you can use the Cabinet Wizard. In Cabinet Wizard, you select a model type, then change any number of variables to make that design meet your needs. Sketchlist 3D designs are parameter-driven. Parametric design involves using software that uses rules and calculations to create and manipulate design. It allows designers to create models that can be easily modified by changing specific parameters. This approach can be particularly applicable to cabinet making, enabling woodworkers to quickly adjust dimensions, styles, and features based on client preferences or project requirements. When parametric and blocking are used together, studies show that overall costs are reduced by 10 to 15%, construction time is reduced by 20%, and considerable energy savings are achieved. Here's how you can blend these two methodologies. 1. Create blocks. First, develop the design with the building block idea in mind. Better yet, reuse existing design segments. These serve as the fundamental components of your design, enabling you to create a variety of configurations quickly. 2. Use the right software tools. Good design software has a user-friendly, data-input-driven interface, allowing designers to manipulate building blocks dynamically. This software should be intuitive so users can see how these changes affect the overall design. 3. Test and iterate. Utilize the software to test different configurations, gather feedback, and make improvements. This step lets you refine your design to meet all requirements. You can identify potential issues early in the process by trying various configurations, allowing for quick adjustments. Finalizing the design involves printing reports such as the cut list, shop drawing, and optimized material layouts. Run off a material purchase list. Indeed, a high-resolution 3D should be provided to your prospects. And if your shop runs CNC equipment, you want to export the DSF file. Import it to your CAM and adjust the toolpath, and you will be all set. Thank you for taking the time to view this overview. You can find more videos on our YouTube channel as well as at www.sketchlist.com. Go there to sign up for a free trial.